Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to another Tear Away Guide video. And on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys where to obtain all of the red and blue presents on the level crash site. So let's get going. Okay guys, so as soon as you start the level, there are actually two presents that are pretty close together. If you head towards this waterfall over here, what you want to do is you want to climb up the cliff. So I'll just make my way up now. And the first red present is here. So just open that. Next we have a blue present, which I'll just get to now. You want to head towards the earthquakes. So if I just keep rolling down here and head all the way down, you'll see a house and a gravestone. And here is the first blue present. Now to open that, what you will need to do is you'll need to take a photograph of the spooky house, but you need to do it with the black and white filter. So just take a photograph of that and you will see that if I switch to the normal filter, there's no ghosts there. But if I switch to the black and white one, there is. So that's what you want a photograph of, is the ghosts. So just take a photo of that and then speak to the gravestone again. And you should be able to open the blue present. Okay guys, so after you have crossed the spiral bridge and you have your little minion friend with you, the baby Wendigo, you will need to take down some scraps over here first of all. And then if you head towards the right hand side, just cling to this ledge. Oh, the little Wendigo fell off then. Just cling to this ledge and um, keep going and you will find a red present. So moving on to the next one now. Okay guys, so when you reach this watery bit, you want to head right rather than jumping down. And you'll see that there's a red present right here. So just open it and you have obtained another red present. Okay guys, so once you come through to this area, you will need to talk to the squirrel and fight some scraps. You don't actually have to do that first before getting this present, but it's just so you guys know where I'm talking about. So if you head over here to the back of this area, there is another red present. Okay guys, so when you come to this area here, you will first need to take out a good few scraps before you can go up this ledge. But when you do, you want to take one of these pebbles with you. And once up here, you should be able to see a blue present. Just go past that squirrel. And um, to get this blue present, you will need to bring a pebble and place it next to that larger boulder. And Because um, he basically says he's lonely and he misses his friend. So just put a little pebble next to him and you should be able to open up that blue present. Okay guys, so continuing on through the level, you need to get past this bridge here where you have to use the glue to bypass the barrier and defeat the scraps. Then you want to head down this way and you will see some bounce pads here. Now these bounce pads move every time you press the rear touch pad, so it can be quite tricky. So you want to press left on the analog stick every time you press the rear touch. But just be careful where you're falling because you can fall too far and then obviously you won't get across. And there we go, open the red present and then we just have one more left for this level. Okay guys, so the final present for this level is in this area here. You will see a anchor in the distance and also a house um, if you look up. You want to head across the grass and just keep going and the final red present is just here next to this anchor. So that's it for this level. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Tearaway Guide videos. And also check out my full Let's Play of the game, link in the video description. Take it easy guys.